guys, my name is Abby and welcome back to another reading vlog. So, um, today is Monday, uh, March 25th, and I just got home from work. Um, right now I'm currently trying to upload the previous reading vlog that hopefully will be alive and up on my channel by the time you were seeing this one. I was not planning on um, starting my reading vlog tonight. I was going to start it tomorrow, but then I got some packages in the mail and I'm really excited about both of them. So I thought I would go ahead and start it tonight instead of waiting. Um, so one is a book. Are we surprised? And the other one though is super exciting and something I don't think I have really talked about on this channel. So let's go ahead and get into the book first um if you guys have been watching my other blogs then you would know that i'm currently collecting this series and hardback and this is just the continuation of it and that is the Crimson Crown by Cinda Williams Chima. I think this is book three. I'm pretty sure. Nope, just kidding. This is book four. <laughs> so we are just now waiting on book three to get here. This is definitely the nicest edition out of the three that I've gotten so far. And let's see, this one, just like the other one, does have its very, very pretty map. And then, let's see, does this one also have, ooh, look at that color. That's really nice, the two colors. I actually wound up just finishing the audiobook for the second one, though. What are you called? The Exiled Queen, earlier today. And I really enjoyed it. I think I actually liked this one better than the first one, which is exciting for me considering I'm going to be continuing on in the series most likely tonight via audiobook. And then, and then the other one. I'm going to show you guys what it is first and then we'll kind of talk about why I have it and why, why, just why, just why. It's a bag within a bag. This is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, is my new wig. So I have been dabbling in wigs for a while. I enjoy putting on wigs. I think that they're very, very fun, but Let's go on a little bit of a hair journey, shall we? Um, I'm very unhappy with how my hair is right now and it's just gotten to the point I can't get into this. Okay, we're in. As I was saying, very unhappy with my hair. Back in like early 2016, I um, dyed my hair this beautiful, beautiful pink, purple, and blue um, hair color. I loved it so much. I actually do have some videos on YouTube when I had it and I loved it with everything in me. But my friend and I that did my hair, we were not very careful and we didn't like really take care of my hair. So um, we bleached it super, super fast and too quickly in between. Like we didn't wait long enough in between the dye jobs to really allow my hair to do it safely, responsibly, I don't know. But it pretty much like damaged my hair completely. Like it was really, really bad. And then that was in early 2016. And then at the end of that time, I wound up getting hired for Disney and I went to go work for them. And unfortunately, Disney does not allow non-traditional hair colors. So I had to get that stuff out of my hair as fast as I possibly could. So we just lightened, 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 got rid of most of it. The pink and the purple came out okay. The blue turned green and then refused to get out of my hair. So the only thing I could do is lighten it as much as possible, get as much of it out as I could. And then I just had to smack brown on top of it. Um, we did really, really ashy browns to try to neutralize the green as best as we possibly could. And then I just had to deal with it. So now the green, stops about right here. It has grown out a lot, um, but there is still a lot of the green underneath this brown in my hair. And no matter how much I try to lighten it, the green will not come out. Um, so I am having to just let it grow, let it do its thing. I, I just don't like it. Um, and so I am doing wigs. <laughs> um, I already have two more on the way. I'm really excited about all of them. And this is the first one that's got here. So I thought I would go ahead and try it on and try it out for you guys. Um, so first things we need to do is, the nice thing is, is my hair is pretty thin, but I am still gonna go ahead and get this hair as flat to my head as I possibly can. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, my battery had died before I had a chance to uh, show you guys my, my wig on, so I had to go to work. But this is what it looks like. I quite like it. It's a little shiny, so I do think I'm going to try to put like some type of baby powder on it or something to kind of dull it down a little bit. 
Uh, but yeah, it is a lob. Uh, and I cannot seem to keep this piece back. But, um, but yeah, I really like it. It's very, very blonde. This is a very bright light. It's very harsh. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, but yeah, I quite like it a lot. Um, so I have a couple other wigs that are coming. And I really like them. Uh, and I will show them to you guys once they arrive. But I... I'm really happy that I have them. Uh, so I will definitely be ooh. So I will definitely be wearing my wigs more often in my in my videos, in my upcoming uh like sit down videos, so definitely look out for those. Uh but yeah. So since it's Monday, I'm gonna go ahead and watch the Shadow Hunters episode that I missed, and then I'm be heading to bed, and then I will just be with you guys more tomorrow and Wednesday. So yeah, alright. Hello friends, it is Wednesday. Um, so I really, really did have good intentions of actually being on on here yesterday and I really had good intentions of getting over here to the old house yesterday to be able to take care of all the last bit of things that are in this room and get it all cleaned up for my parents. But, um, I wound up having a really, really bad migraine that, like, put me on my ass yesterday. I was literally in bed all day, and I had realized I had forgotten my medicine for my migraines here at the house. So I wound up having to wait until my migraine, like, simmered down enough to where I could safely drive over here to get it. It was just, it was not good. It was not good. Um, so between yesterday and today, I did get some packages that I wanted to share with you guys. First First thing is the thing that I've been waiting on forever and that is my King of Scars pre-order incentive. Um, everybody's been getting this forever but they wound up putting out an announcement that they wound up getting so many entries that they had to like make a second batch of these so that's why it took so long and I'm just excited to finally have my copy. Ugh. And that is what it looks like. Very, very pretty, and I will be adding it to my pen collection when I get home, um, back to the apartment. And then the other thing that I got is my Lit Joy Crate for March. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and open this as well before I get started on my cleaning process in here. So let me just get in here and my battery died again whoa what a surprise okay so we're back um and we're gonna go ahead and get into this uh i wound up having to wait until i got back home to be able to plug my battery in and get the other one so it's a little bit later now I'm very sad that i had to wait to like officially get in here i did sneak a few peeks but nothing that big okay I knew what this box was um, and I was very excited for it because this book is going to complete one of the series that is currently on my shelf um, and the theme is Superman um, so I'm sure if you guys don't know already you guys can probably tell what book this is popular YA book that released in March does anybody know um, and we're gonna go ahead and pull out my add-on item now normally they either have some type of like fabric add-on uh, they also have a lot of times a pin add-on I did decide to skip the pin add-on this go around because it wasn't really um, a pin that super interested me but their fabric add-on was adorable and they are these socks that say no capes and they have Edna mode on them and I love them so much. These are so cute. Then the next item that we have is a candle from A Court of Candles, which they have worked with before um, on their last uh, superhero box. Uh, and this one is Man of Steel. And this one smells like clean air, fruit punch, and cherry limeade, which is interesting. And this is what the label looks like. Very, very pretty. Very Superman. Hmm. It smells like surprisingly really good. I was a little worried about the smell, but I quite like that. It does have that limeade-y smell to it. That's funny. So yes, so we do have that. Oh, these are awesome. So these are some DC Icon buttons, and there is one from each of the books. So if you have not guessed what this book yet is, you know now. We have got all four of the different books 
that are in this series. Very, very cool. Ooh, it looks like we've got a bookmark, which I do love bookmarks. So this is really gonna show my n knowledge or not knowledge of it. So I think, what is it, Clint, Kent Clark, is that his name? <laughs> and on this side, and then Superman saving someone on the other side again it is a little bit of a thicker bookmark than normal but i think it's very pretty it does feel very nice quality like one that will last for a while which i love we have what's always my favorite and that is the trading cards i love these trading cards with everything in me so let's see what ones we got the only ones that i'm currently still missing are the other three that came in the catwoman box because that box is still available so they're not making the trading cards from that box available for add-ons yet and i already own the book so i don't see a reason to purchase the entire box so i'm just having to abide and wait my time until i can get them so i can officially like complete the um the amount of ones that i have so these three are the other aces so we've got uh superman on this one we've got batman on this one and we've got superwoman on this one these are so pretty i really like the background how simple it is very nice very nice and then i think the last item i think before the box oh this is cute oh this is really cute I mean, again, I'm not really, like, a big superhero, but, like, it's it, like, fits the size of a book. It says, reading is my superpower, and it has all the different, like, logo colors and stuff of different superheroes. And that's really cute, and it has, like, a little thing, and then you can, like, wear it, so you can, like, put your book inside of it. That's super cute! Yep, and then last but not least is the book, which I do love that they've started putting all of their books in these type of pouches. I think it's great. So, if you still have somehow not guessed, <laughs> the book is Superman Dawn Breaker. This is the last book in the DC Icons Quartet. Um, this is by Matt De La Pina. Da La Pina. Oh, he, ooh, that's actually very pretty. So here is the uh, author card, and look at that picture of Superman. He looks actually really, really cool, and I love the feel of this sign it's very like very sturdy and then as always we do have a sign and then there is that awesome symbol for Superman I'm very sad because I just checked their little spoiler card and it looks like I am missing the Daily Planet reporter t luggage tag I mean I really don't need it um, so I probably won't bother them asking about it um but that is what it should look like so if for any reason you are missing it definitely reach out to them and let them know but yeah besides that everything else in here is great and if you haven't seen their april theme is born rebellion which sounds absolutely amazing so very cool though all right now i'm gonna go ahead and add this to the collection back there on the shelf. I'm so happy that I now have all four signed. Ah. And yeah, so that is everything for today. Um, I did want to get started reading Priory, but I, so the migraine that I had yesterday is, it's not coming back because it's definitely not a migraine, but it definitely is a headache. Um, so I've already taken some medicine, um, but I just, it really stinks because whenever I get into this kind of mindset, I cannot read like I can't have close wording up that close to me so I'm probably just gonna lay down um probably take a little bit of a nap it is only 4 20 in the afternoon so I can still probably take a little bit of a nap maybe like an hour hour and a half hopefully wake back up and then start prior later this afternoon my head's doing okay it's like I'm glad that this feeling isn't happening while I'm at work because there's nothing worse than trying to like do things and be productive while I have a headache but also my migraines always seem to happen when I'm off, and it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. <sighs> okay, but I'm going to go ahead and go relax for a little bit, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit, hopefully. Hello, friends. So I am very excited to get to share with you guys a fun package that arrived today. I'm so excited. Uh, and that is my Fairy Loot unboxing. 
you. So this is the March Fairy Loot, but it is a special edition. As you can see, it's purple instead of black. Our favorites box, and it is also their three year anniversary box. So all really, really exciting things. I was very excited I got to get my hands on one of these because it's gonna be really special. It's gonna have a lot of really fantastic items in it. Um, it's been a while since I've actually looked at like the list of fandoms that's in this and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really kind of going in blind. I don't remember what the, um, how the, how the book was described for this box. Like I am just, like truly going in kind of like not remembering a thing. So we're just going to get into it. All right. Are we ready? I'll do it this way. That way you guys can see. Look at how pretty this box is. So this is the spoiler card. And yes, it is their favorite box. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm super excited. So the first thing I see right on top, I already love, and it is socks. Um, these are Alice in Wonderland cotton socks. Oh my goodness. So that is the um, the look of it. Okay, so the next item ooh, is a fabric. <gasps> It's a fabric item. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It has some really cool stuff on it. Hang on. Oh, it looks like it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty this is. Okay, hang on. So it looks like it is it is just a bunch of books. This is this is gorgeous. Holy cow. Okay. So we're going to start on this area. It's just a bunch of books. It's like literally a bunch of covers. So we've got like Vicious. We've got The Young Elites, The Divergent. We've got Warcross right there, Daughter Smoke and Bone. We've got Nevernight, Blood, uh, Children of Blood and Bone. We've got uh, Shatter Me. We've got, I'm trying to read them like through and I'm not doing a very good job. The Kiss of Deception, Throne of Glass. Oh my God, I am so in love with this. And like, and I do love scarves like, Oh my God, this is a, an amazing item. Holy cow, I love. That is a beautiful, beautiful fabric item. Oh my goodness. Okay, next we've got a very, very pretty, uh, like it's a bookmark, but it's like, it's like a plastic bookmark. And this says, <laughs> It is a, uh, it is a strange the dreamer quote. It says, I turned my nightmares into fireflies and caught them in a jar. Ah, I love that quote. I'm going to see if this will focus. There we go. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? Oh, beautiful. I do love me some strange the dreamer. I think y'all know that. We've got some bookworm page tabs. Oh, these are so cute. Um, and it's actually great for annotating. So these say humor, romance, plot point, quote, heartwarming, and issues. That's is very, very cool. I actually have not annotated in a while because I just haven't been <laughs> reading like at all. Um, so this one might be really fun to try to get me back into it. Next, ooh, this is looks like we got a book. We've got a book. And this is Isle of Storm and Sorrow Viper by Bex Hogan. I have not heard anything about this, but look at how gorgeous this title is. Um, and this is the synopsis, if you'd like to take a look at it. Wow, oh, this is really, really pretty. I love this cover so much. I love how shiny it is. Holy cow, beautiful. Okay, next it looks like we've got some, ooh, there's something really fun about Lady, about Sherwood. Um, oh, so we have more of their cards, which I do have a couple of these, um, but obviously I haven't been collectively getting their uh, boxes, so I don't have all of them, but these are two. That it is Jesper and Wyland, which, ugh, perfect pairing. I love them so much. This is Wheel of Fortune with Jesper on it and The Fool with Wyland. I do love them so much. And then we also have this little pamphlet for Sherwood, um, which is by Megan Spooner, which I do have the book, but I haven't read it yet. Um, so it looks like we have the prologue on one side, and then, oof, that's very cool. We have a little poster of the cover on the inside. Very cool. So this pen is, oh, it's just a three year anniversary collectible pen, and it does have their logo on it, which is very pretty. And this is what, that pen looks like very very pretty and then 
Ooh, we have a couple prints in here. Ooh, we got a lot of prints in here. What? What? <gasps> okay, so this one I ha I did have to look. This is inspired by Warcross by Marie Lu, which I have not read. Um, so, but that one is very, very pretty. Um, and then this one is inspired by The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. We've got Jude and Carden. And then this one, we've got Laia and Elias from An Ember in the Ashes. Please focus on their beautiful faces. There we go. Look at those beautiful faces. I love them so much. They are like my everything. I adore them. Okay. Ow. All right, and then I think we are on to the book, which I honestly have genuinely no idea what it is. Ooh, it looks like we got some sprayed edges though. And this one is to Best the Boys by Mary Weber. Mary Weber? Mary, Mary Weber? I haven't, I honestly have not heard much about it, but it does have some very cool sprayed edges. Those are always fun. And then let's see what the, the fleck with green writing, which I always love. It matches the, the look of the actual book very well. Um, this one was a book explosion book of the month, I think at one point, and I've heard it sounds pretty cool. This is the synopsis here, if you would like to read it. And as always, we do have it signed by the author. And then we've got the um, author note as always, and then a really, really cute picture of, I guess, the main characters. So cute. Uh, I love the outfits. That's a really cool. Very, very cool. What a fun box. I'm starting to try really hard to uh, know that if I'm getting a subscription box that um, to try to not purchase those books like on my own and just be patient. Um, that way I'm not getting multiple copies of books unless they are continuations in series and I know that I'll really want that exclusive edition, um, you know, yada, yada, yada kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm really happy that I do not have a copy of this book yet so that way I'll only have one copy. Um, but yeah, what a good box. Also, let me go ahead and show you. I wound up getting very excited and not being able to wait to open this, um, but this came from Book Depository. These are are the last three books I needed to complete my Harry Potter um, slip cover collection editions. Editions. Um, so we have the biggest one out of the entire bunch, which is The Order of the Phoenix. Look at how big this book is. Um, but it is a beautiful, like baby blue slip cover. Um, and as all of them have the same like design. And then on the back, we have a rendition of Snape, I think it is. That's what it looks like. Or is it Filch? Argus Filch? I don't know. I think it's Snape. Um, and then the book itself is this really, really pretty like purple navy blue. Um, and it has that matching design. And then it has Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And then like always, all of them have this, um, these end pages. And then this map of Hogwarts. Then we have Half-Blood Prince, which is a really, really pretty burgundy color. So it has that same little outfit. On the back of this one, we have, um, I think Neville, or is that, is that Neville? Or is that Tom Riddle? Or is it Draco? I think it's Draco. That makes more sense of be Draco. <laughs> um, so that's up and back. And then it's a beautiful bright yellow, which I love. And then again, that matching design character. And then the same sleeve and map. And then there is a little bookmark. And then the last one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And it's black. And then the back is Hagrid, Harry, and Hedwig. And then it is a purple color. This one, just like the first one, has difficulties coming out, which is very interesting. Uh, we have that same design though. The black bookmark. And then again, the cover and the matching mat. These are just beautiful. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys right now is my Illumicrate slash Fable and Black pin. They do monthly pins. And this one I'm super excited about is actually a, um, they're now going to be doing this collection of every other month. They're going to be doing Harry Potter artifacts. And look, it's the Slytherin locket. 
So yeah, those are all the things that I have received over the past couple of days. And then I did want to go ahead and catch you guys up. Um, my reading slump is still going strong. I just, I like sat down and did genuinely try to read a couple pages, like a little bit of Priory. And the problem is, is that I just, nothing is keeping my interest right now. I've tried to pick up so many books and like they're good books. It's not like I'm picking up books that wouldn't interest me or anything like that. And I'm thinking that I might just need to try to pick up a cute, fluffy contemporary or something. I don't know, but I just, I'm not trying to really push it or like force myself, but at the same time, we're supposed to have Priory done by April 5th. So that way we can have our live show. And that's next Friday and it's Saturday. So I have seven days to read almost a 900 page book. And with how I'm feeling, I don't think it's gonna happen. So Natalie and I have already decided that even if we don't finish the book in time, we're still gonna have a live show on Friday just to chat and kind of see where things are at and how everything's going and how everyone's doing and just have a fun time. Hopefully April will be better. Hopefully I can get my act together we'll see though and i still really want to read priory because i am interested in reading it it's just it's not been a good time for me i've read two books this month and that is because i listened to both of them i have not physically read a book all month and i'm very sad about it so here's hoping that april will be better um but regardless yeah so that's gonna be it for right now i'm just gonna relax tonight see if I can get any reading done. Maybe. <laughs> um, and I will catch up with you guys later. Hello friends. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I wanted to come on here because I realized that I have no idea when the last time I vlogged. Um, I have new hair. So that's really fun. I really don't have an excuse for being away for as long as I was. I mean, I will have a couple excuses. Um, I was busy, I was sad, I was sick, still kind of sick. <clears throat> but um, it is Friday, April 12th, um, and I have some packages that we're gonna open because Again, I was sick for like the past week almost. Two of them, I only have three, so not too many, <clears throat> but two of them are boxes and one is a book from Good Choice Reading. So we're gonna go ahead and open all three of those packages and then we're just gonna kind of go over some stuff and some things that I kind of would like to discuss with you guys. Uh, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer because I didn't realize how much of a mess my life and my apartment is. So we're gonna make it look a little bit better. That looks better. How about we start with good choice reading. So how have you guys been? I hope you've been good. Tonight being Friday is the night that Natalie and I are trying our live show over again. We wound up not being able to do it last week because of some personal things. So hopefully this week is better. And the book that I got is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. Um, I just heard really, really good things about this one. Um, look at how stunning this is. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I also still have not been reading anything. That's another update that we'll get to later, but um, yeah, I haven't read a thing. I've just been in like the worst reading slump of my life. Um, but yeah, so it is signed and personalized. That's my name. And that's her name. Well, her signature. How cool. Um, this, again, is just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Look at those end pages and papers. Look at that. Let them fear her. Oh, so, so pretty. Um, and I will leave this right here. Oh, maybe, maybe. Can you see that? Um, if you would like to read the synopsis, I guess maybe um so yeah i'm excited to eventually read it um oh no mine has a rip at the bottom unfortunate so i have two packages here and i'm super excited about both i really don't know what i want to open for actually i know what i want to open first i want to open this because i'm so excited this is the february um wick and fable box it is a candle box okay so the february is no mourners no funerals so theirs is six of curls obviously as you can tell it's april so this box is a little 
plate but again Wick and Fable did a really good job of staying very like open and open communication about the fact of why things were running late so very kind of them this is why I love their boxes because they always put their boxes in these huge boxes because they always have extra stuff and I love it okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into the first little like extra things so the first thing is oh oh my god holy shit this is beautiful this is a frame and it says no mourners no funerals like it's like an actual frame and it has a crow in the back that is stunning oh and i'm sorry you guys can see my little desk light but that is holy cow see th this is this is why i continue to get their boxes that's beautiful oh my god and see we haven't even gotten to the actual box yet that's just the first item okay the next item it is a pillowcase and it has all of our beloved characters on it can you guys see it can you see it can you see it all right and now we get to the actual box oh there's one more thing hang on before we get to the box there's actually one more thing it sucks <laughs> which i love socks um and they are little red socks that have little crows on them. Oh my god, they have little crows. I love it. Okay, so now we're getting to the box. And look at how gorgeous this box is. Oh my god. Here is the No Mourners, No Funerals spoiler card. I'm going to put that off to the side. And the first thing that we're going to pick up is the... Um, what are these called? Coasters. There we go. Ugh, I am the worst. And is that... Mm, who is that? I feel really bad because I never know, like, who the characters are because I'm really bad at knowing faces and stuff. But this looks really cool and really creepy and it has a crow on the back. Yay! <laughs> Alright, and then the next thing is a really, really cool pin. It's a huge pin. Look at this holy cow again just for reference like this is my hand like that's the palm of my hand this thing is huge that is so so pretty though and it has like cards oh, his gloves guys it's kaz's gloves i love that and we are getting into the candles okay so the first candle is the menagerie Ooh, and look at that label let's see if it will focus there we go it doesn't always want to focus on me so there we go very cool and this one smells like herbal tea oh that smells so good i love that yeah yeah yes 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 it smells great next is this one the barrel this one smells like smog and rum mmm that one smells good too that one's very different i don't know if i've ever I don't know if I've ever smelled like something like that before. This is, that's the label. Very cool. Next is this one. Hellgate, smells like burning fire. <laughs> it smells like burning fire, all right. Oh, you were doing so well. You're doing so well. There we go. Love it. Yeah, that one smells like just like a wood fire. That's exactly what it smells like. Next, the ice court. Oh, this one's gorgeous. This one smells like sparkling, sparkling snow, which I'm going to love. Yeah. Very fresh. Very, very gentle. So this is what... This is what this one looks like which is gorgeous i love that these are all like locations oh that makes me so happy and then the big candle is ketterdam which smells like ketterdam's finest coffee which i'm gonna love as well <sighs> yes smells like coffee beans coffee like ground coffee oh and that again that label is so pretty and i love their decision to make it like locations i love that so much that i think everything else is in yep everything else is in this so let's go ahead and move the box over to the side so oh we've got a lot of stuff <gasps> we have character cards i oh I'm becoming obsessed with character cards okay 
Well, so this is the back of all of their character cards. So we've got Kaz. We have Matthias. We've got Jesper. We've got Inej. We've got Nina. We have Wyland. Oh. Okay, then we have a bookmark which says when everyone knows you're a monster you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing and it has Kaz right down there at the bottom and then we have a double-sided print the first side says when you can't beat the odds change the game which is one of Kaz's sayings and then we have the crow and the cup with a little thing that says no mourners no funerals right down there at the bottom beautiful god i don't know where i'm going to put this but i'm going to find a place for this because this is so so pretty so we have one more box that we're gonna open and i'm super excited because this is my first box from this company so let's take a look shall we so this is the box this was the packaging that it came in to safely get to me um but this this was the actual box. This is the Aska box. So it is a company that does um, Harry Potter style um, boxes. And this is a year two um, is what this entire box is based around. And I'm so excited because I got the Lit Joy Crate box for their year five. And I absolutely loved it. And I actually just secured my box for year six. Um, um, but this one is a different company that is focusing again much more on like handmade items um and it's for year two so we're gonna get into it i'm so excited all right and this is what it looks like so let's see wow see this is all the stuff that is in the box holy crap okay so again this is the spoiler card so we're gonna go ahead and put that off to the side i'm gonna get this situated just like this and we're gonna go ahead and get it there's so much in here oh my goodness oh my gosh so this is the letter that Jenny Weasley sent to Harry Potter. It says, you're quite the catch. Sing to Harry Potter. His eyes are as green as a freshly pickled toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. He's truly divine. The hero who conquered the dark lord. Oh my god. So next, I just have to show this. You guys have to know I normally don't like um, any type of stuffed animals. But look at this little Dobby. Oh my god, he is precious. He looks very, very obviously like homemade, like handmade. What? Please tell me, what is the function of a rubber ducky? <laughs> From Arthur Weasley. The next item is in this ah! <laughs> it's a little mandrake i have a little mandragora <laughs> oh my god look at his little face oh this is so cute it says mandrake hand potted by twillings and tattings with organic coffee scented dirt how cute and it is coffee scented there's still so many goodies in here. I don't know what to pick next. Okay, so let's take a look at this. These are HP Apothecary Phoenix Tears Body Dew. So this is the label and look at that. Phoenix Tears Body Dew is hibiscus infused skin loving non-greasy golden glow perfumed body oil. Um, the scent is strawberry peach and contains a bunch of different oils i'm blown away right now oh there's still so many good things okay let's pick one of the smaller items this is a oh it's a little oh it's a little bookmark it's tom riddle's diary look at that look at how cute that is and this has the entire little little part my name is harry potter hello harry potter my name is tom riddle how did you come by my diary it has the entire like pretty much conversation that Harry and him wrote to each other. Oh my god. I think this is a pen. <laughs> the Ask a Box exclusive. This is the Pascalisk. That is a really, really cool pen. Oh, is this tea? <gasps> this is tea. Okay, this is the most potent potions, polyjuice potion. Um, it says, if brewed properly, this po 
they made it into t That's so smart. If brewed properly, the Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to feel as if they have been transformed into a new person. There is no need to wait 21 days to brew your Polyjuice Potion. Just mix the following ingredients with hot water. So this is a green tea with pomegranate. Ooh, with pomegranate, raspberries, blueberry, and lemongrass. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god. And again, just look at how cool the label is. We have a bag of flu powder. And there's a little note that says, This item has been regulated by the Department of Magical Transportation. Feel free to empty the contents out of the muggle plastic bag into the burlap one. We package it this way to avoid any spilling and muggles taking unexpected trips when delivering. So it is the color of flu powder. Then we have this mysterious little bag, box, container, thing. Let's see. It's very well taped. And it's very squishy. What are you? What are you? Oh my god. It's Skelligro. Look at that. And it has a little skeleton. And I think what might be the last thing. Oh my god, there's more. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I thought this was it. Because this was, I thought this was, there's so much more underneath this. Holy crap. Okay. So, um, next is the fabric item, um, and I did go ahead and get a extra large, which is a size up. I normally am a large, but I just wanted to make sure that it was plenty big enough, which by the feel of it, I think it might actually be two. This is actually perfect because I can just wear this to bed. <laughs> um, so this says, it's not much, but it's home, and it's the burrow. Ronald Weasley, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, I don't want to, oh my god, they thought of everything. Oh, it's a it is velcro so you can open it and it is ronald weasley's howler that is amazing and it even has the little tongue and everything this is these are a few of the letters that harry's friend sent him sent to him last summer Harry Potter must not be angry with Dobby. The rest of the letters are at Malfoy Manor and Dobby must not return to the Malfoys. Oh my God, there's notes in them. Oh my God. This is from Ron. Oh my God. I'm not gonna read all of them, but I will just leave them here if you would like to pause. Hopefully I will do an okay job at making it where you can read them. Do we have this one, which I'm assuming is Hermione. Oh, yep. This is Hermione's letter which is so cool. And then there was also this, which is from Rubius Hagrid. Oh, that's Hagrid's letter. Oh my God. And then again, there's still so much. Oh, this is the letter to Mr. Argus Filch. And it is um, from, what I never knew how to say this. It was from Queek spell, Keek spell. This is the letter that they find to pretty much let him know that, that he's like a squib and everything. Are you or someone you know struggling with the wombat examination? Feel out of step in the world of modern magic? Find yourself making excuses not to perform simple spells? Ever been taunted for your woeful wand work? There is an answer. Keek spell, Queek spell, Keek spell is an all new fail safe, quick result, easy learn course. And there's still more. I think this might be the last last couple items though. So we have just a couple of prints. One of them is of Gildor Lockhart. And then this is at uh, Sir Nicholas's 500th death day. Look at how cool that is. Ah, oh, and that was everything. Oh my goodness, this box was so good. So I just went through their entire website because I can't tell if I was actually subscribed um, for year three or not. I really hope that I was because it does show that they're sold out, but um, they're still a little of a newer company. So I, I really hope I didn't somehow miss the window of opportunity to get the third box because I want it. Um, so we'll see what happens um, because the next box ships in um, June because um, they're bi-monthly since this one arrived in April. 
that one so i'm assuming that you'll probably get charged for it in may that's my assumption um but yeah this box was amazing and i really really hope that i'm subscribed for june 3 i really are for for year three i really hope um but uh, so good again they are unfortunately sold out for year three um but if you guys would like to be able to get the box for year four you you're eight you're four you guys should totally um go and check them out again their name is ask a box um like ask a band but ask a box um on instagram and twitter um you guys can go and check them out and see if they will be maybe opening up a waiting list or anything like that um but yeah so good um okay so tonight unfortunately by the time you guys see this it will have already happened so i really have no way of like telling you guys on video beforehand um but natalie and i are finally doing our live show tonight which i'm super excited about um i'm very hungry so i'm going to get something to eat and then actually you guys are sitting on it right now so i can't get to it um but i do you guys are currently sitting on red scrolls of magic by cassandra claire and wesley chu um and i'm really excited to read it so i think i'm gonna read a little bit of it right now um i just need to get you guys off of it so i can start reading it and then i will probably be ending the vlog tonight um just because with all the unboxings i've been doing who who knows how, honestly how long this will have turned out to be so all right i'll see you guys in a little bit mahaha success is mine i have a wig cap on don't mind me uh just got um, an email back from the owner of Ask a Box, um, very, very promptly, like it's literally only 30 minutes later, um, that I'm all set for my subscription. So I will be getting box three. I'm so excited. Okay. That's all. I'm just actually organizing my room. I don't know if you guys would care. Already organizing again. Um, I've moved my computer area closer to the kitchen and I've moved my bed closer. And I also now have a new stand for my, um, for my mic. So that way it'll look like this and it's off of the um off of the desk which is nice um and then whenever i need to i can take this off and talk through this i'm so official now um there is a reason why i got this and this stand was literally at like 15 dollars on amazon it's fantastic um but i love it with my wig cap I can't deal I took my wig off while I was um moving my bed and everything because I got super hot um but yeah I did this because I am gonna be doing a lot more talking soon I will be explaining why in a little bit once I actually like sit down and chat with you guys but so yeah okie dokie